There's your emergency. <gasps> Why? Can you use my ride? Sorry. In the fucking parking lot. Look, Nancy, this job, okay, I got over there and I don't, I don't really... Hey everyone, welcome to this video where we'll dive into the intense thriller Last Straw. I've picked some key scenes from the movie to guide you through the story as you watch the footage. So sit back, relax, well if you can, and let's jump into the chaos of this small town diner that turns into a battleground for survival. Ready? Let's go. The movie kicks off with a moody, eerie atmosphere. We're introduced to a small, quiet town, and you can feel something is off. The opening music, all haunting and melancholic, sets the tone perfectly. Just as you're starting to settle in, the scene shifts. Ring ring, the phone rings, and we hear a distressed man calling 911. His voice is shaky, panicked. My friend's hurt. I don't know what to do, he says, and just like that, we know we're in for one hell of a ride. Cut to a small diner in the middle of nowhere. It's quiet, almost too quiet, and we meet our protagonist, a young waitress named Lila. She's working the night shift, and you can see she's a bit tired, maybe a little restless. The kind of exhaustion that comes from working late and late in a place where not much happens. But tonight? Oh, tonight is going to be different. As the camera pans around the diner, we get a glimpse of the few customers scattered around. There's an older couple, sitting in the corner, sipping coffee and whispering quietly to each other. Then, there's a man sitting by himself, eyes darting around the room like he's expecting something or someone. Lila walks over to the counter, grabs a coffee pot, and starts refilling the man's cup. He barely looks up, just mutters a quiet, thanks. There's something unsettling about him, but Lila shrugs it off. After all, it's just another slow night at the diner, right? Wrong. Now before we get too deep into the chaos that's about to unfold, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I've got more movie breakdowns coming your way, and trust me, you won't want to miss them. Back to the story. So things are about to get seriously intense. Suddenly, a loud crash comes from outside the diner. Everyone inside jumps, and Lila quickly moves to the window to see what's going on. It's hard to make out anything in the dark, but there's definitely movement. The man from earlier? He's not sitting anymore. He's standing now his hand hovering over his jacket like he's reaching for something. Is it a weapon? We don't know yet, but Lila's starting to feel the tension. The door swings open and a group of strangers barges in, drenched in sweat, blood, and panic. They're all talking at once, voices overlapping, making it hard to understand what's going on. But one thing's clear, they're being hunted. One of the strangers stumbles towards the counter, gasping for air. They're coming! he says, barely able to get the words out. We've gotta hide. But it's too late. The man who had been sitting quietly earlier, he's suddenly on his feet, pulling out a gun. Lila's heart is racing now, and so is ours. The man with the gun demands everyone stay put, and his voice is calm but cold. You can tell he's done this before, whatever this is. The tension in the room is thick, and the group of strangers are eyeing the exits trying to figure out if they can make a run for it. One of the women from the group starts sobbing. She's clutching her arm, and it's covered in blood. Leela, despite the fear gripping her, takes a step towards her, trying to help, but the man with the gun raises it towards her. Stay back, he warns. But then, things take a turn, because it turns out this man isn't just any random guy. He's part of the chaos. As he starts interrogating the group, we realize they're not innocent victims either. Each one has a part to play in this twisted game of survival, and the killer on their tail? Well, they might not be the worst thing to happen tonight. Throughout the night, the diner turns into a battleground. There are moments of brutal violence, sudden betrayals, and shocking revelations. Lila, who started the night just wanting to finish her shift, is now forced into survival mode. She's resourceful, though, using the diner's layout to her advantage hiding behind counters, and trying to outwit the killers. And the man with the gun? He's not the only one we need to worry about. 
There's something much darker lurking in the shadows outside the diner. It's hunting them all. And the only question is, who will make it out alive? One of the most gripping scenes happens when Lila is hiding in the diner's back room. She's breathing heavily, trying to stay quiet as she hears footsteps approaching. Her hands are shaking, and you can feel the fear radiating off her. The door slowly creaks open, and for a moment, it seems like she's been caught. But then, there's a sudden distraction, a loud bang from the front of the diner, and the killer is pulled away just in time. Lila uses the moment to sneak out the back, but not before grabbing a knife from the kitchen. As the night wears on, the body count rises. The strangers who barged into the diner? Yeah, not all of them make it. Some fall victim to their own paranoia, turning on each other in their desperate attempt to survive. Others meet a much more gruesome fate at the hands of the killers. And just when you think things can't get any worse, we discover the truth about why this night has spiraled into madness. It turns out, this isn't some random killing spree. It's all part of a larger plan. A plan that involves not just the people in the diner, but the whole town. Lila, now bloodied and bruised, is the last one standing. She's not the scared waitress we met at the beginning of the film anymore. She's a survivor, and she's not going down without a fight. In the final showdown, Lila faces off against the last of the killers. It's brutal, messy, and there's a moment where it seems like she might not make it. But in a last-ditch effort, she manages to outsmart him, using the diner's neon sign to electrocute him. The diner goes dark, and for a moment, everything is still. Lila, exhausted and barely holding on, steps out into the cool night air. The sun is just starting to rise, casting an eerie glow over the small town. She made it. She survived the night. But as she walks down the empty road, you can't help but wonder, what happens now? Because in a town like this, the horrors of the night aren't so easily left behind. And that, folks, is the story of Last Straw. A tense, edge-of-your-seat thriller that keeps you guessing until the very end. If you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more movie recaps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.